Hey everyone, it is day 21 of Vlogmas. It's Thursday and I've had a really quiet day so far. This morning I drove James to school and on my way home I wanted to get some fresh air so I stopped at the lake. It's just a couple of minutes from my house and I haven't been there in a while. I just felt this morning like I needed some sunshine and a bit of fresh air. I wasn't really feeling very good. I don't think I'm getting sick, but I think we've just had so many gray days and I woke up with a little bit of a headache and getting outside really helped. So I went for a short walk. The sun was shining. It was absolutely freezing. The temperatures really, really dropped today. We've kind of had a mild December so far, but today was cold. So I didn't last very long because it was really cold by the water, but I did have a walk and it was super sunny and it just kind of cleared my head, which was really nice. I went home. I've had a really quiet day. I've been doing some knitting and just kind of puttering around. And now I am out waiting to run into my nail appointment. And after that, I need to stop at the store to pick up some orzo because I put in a new to me recipe from Half Baked Harvest. I put it into the crock pot. It looks really yummy. And I put everything in and then I realized I'm out of orzo. So I'll need to pick up a package of that. And luckily you don't need to add that until the last half an hour or 45 minutes. So the chicken and onions and mushrooms are all cooking away in the slow cooker. I will pick up some orzo on my way home, pop that in, hopefully have a really nice quiet night. I feel like I need a couple of quiet days before the weekend. And yeah, I'm just gonna do some knitting, have a nice meal. I've been wanting to go for a walk outside somewhere nearby where there are some lights and I haven't been able to. So we'll see if anyone is up to it are up to go with me tonight, then maybe we'll do that if we're not too tired. But other than that, it's a super quiet day. It's kind of a boring day, but hopefully my dinner will be really tasty and I'll put the recipe down below if you'd like to try it out. I love Half-Baked Harvest recipes. Her stuff is so good, so tasty. So I'm really looking forward to that tonight. I spent some time again last night knitting on my Chunky Dahlia sweater and I'm so pleased with myself because I did something I have never done in knitting before and if you are a knitter you probably know what that's like when you do something brand new in a pattern and you finish it. It's such a sense of accomplishment. I felt so good about it. This sweater has a rib neckband that is folded over and then closed up so you've got a double layer neckband. It's super easy. I just knit about double that length. The cast on edge was on a second set of needles and then I knit the required length. And then when you get to that point, you basically fold it over and you knit those live stitches from both needles onto one. And now it is closed up and I can continue on with the sweater. I feel so good about it. I'm very excited. It's the first time I've picked up a sweater this last week. It's the first time I've knit on a sweater in a really long time and I'm super excited about it. So I think I'm going to set myself up a little bit better to proceed with this because as I was looking at the pattern last night, I love that yoke design. I'm super excited about it, but it's only in chart format and I'm not a really big fan of knitting from charts. I don't know why. I just find it much easier to read line by line exactly what you're supposed to do. And so I think this might be time to push myself and learn a new skill because I think I just need to train my brain 
to read off the chart. So my plan is to take my number 10 shawl pattern out of that Coco Knits Makers board because I don't really need the board for that pattern and I think it would be better used for this one. So I'll set up the pattern. I'll have the ruler there. I can follow along. Just get this going because I always love a top-down sweater, the yoke portion. I absolutely love that part. I also really like the sleeves. I know a lot of people don't like knitting sleeves. I love sleeves and I'm excited about these ones because they are chunky weight, first of all. And look at that sleeve. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Can't wait. The only thing I don't love is when you get to the body after any yoke or design, and then you just have to knit in the round. I find that a little bit boring, but I think this one's going to be fun. So here's the yarn again that I am using. I haven't set up a project page yet on Ravelry. I'll do that at some point, but the main yarn I'm using is Sadness Garn Coast. See, there's the color, 2543. And I'm holding it together with Rowan Kid Silk Haze in, I don't know, 686 maybe? But it's knitting up beautifully. It's very cloud-like and fluffy. I'm enjoying it a lot. And it knits really quickly. It's exactly what I was looking for right now. I've been wanting to knit more chunky or bulky weight projects and I think this sweater is going to be perfect. So I've got a really good start. I'm going to put it into uh, the maker's board, get myself kind of mentally ready to start tackling that yoke and I cannot wait. 